back here on Portside. It's time for our favorite part of the show, the Portside Five. There have been a lot of great moments in pilot athletics since the last show, so here are the best five. Coming in at number five in the Portside Five, sophomore Hannah Troutman makes a great save to keep the point alive against St. Mary's. Volleyball went on to sweep the Gales in the conference opener and earn their first win against SMC since 2006. At number four, Parks Kendrick opens her account for the 2015 season against the Washington State Cougars. Noelle LaPrevat makes a flawless cross to Maddie Deeker, who sets up Kendrick to the right of the 18-yard box, and Kendrick puts it away. This was the first goal and eventual 2-0 win for the Pilots. It was the first loss of the season for the Cougars. LaPrevat looking for Deeker, nods it down. Kendrick takes a touch, shot. Go Portland! Parks Kendrick gives the Pilots the 1 0 lead. Great ball sent in by La Bravant. And how about that header for Matty Deeker? Number three, Paul Christensen comes up big with not one, but two. Well, technically three big saves against top 10 ranked teams Oregon State and UW. First against Oregon State, Christensen deflects the first shot punching it out to the top of the box, where another Beaver sets up and takes another shot at the pilot goalkeeper, but he gets a hold of it. It would turn out to be two crucial saves to give the Pilots a 1-0 win over then-unbeaten Oregon State. Way back, and maybe he's got to continue that run, and now DeHollis, far side, Christensen gets his mitts on it. Here's Mueller trying to find some space right foot, Christensen again! Somebody buy that man a Coke! Next, traveling up north to Husky Stadium to face the number 10 University of Washington Huskies, Christensen came up big again. This time off a free kick to the left of the goal, Christensen dives and makes the save, keeping the Pilots alive. They would go on to tie the match nil-nil. Coming in at number two, Maddie Deeker's game-winning goal against Denver. In the 100th minute, Devlin Jetter took a pass from Allison Weatherington to the left of the 18-yard box hitting a low hard ball to Deeker who was waiting for it at the center of the box. Deeker settled the ball and finished into the right corner of the net from 12 yards out to give the Pilots the 2-1 win. Run right in from Wetherington, she's onside, plays it back for Jetter, across the box, all alone in front, and there it is. Joy started in the first half for Denver, it's turned into heartbreak. And finally, number one, Hugo Rhodes with two huge goals against number eight Oregon State and number 11 Virginia, the defending national champions. First, against the Beavers, a corner sent in by Matthew Coffey was cleared well by Oregon State, but Hugo Rhodes was waiting 25 yards out and drilled the ball through the traffic and into the goal. Pilots, Matthew Coffey going to the air this time. Edwardson got ahead on it, bounced back to Hugo Rhodes, that's in his wheelhouse, yeah! Hugo Rhodes! Next, with the Pilots trailing Virginia 2-1, Rhodes found the equalizer. Rhodes sent a short pass to Peterson, who hit right back to Rhodes inside the left edge of the box. The senior forward took care of the rest, finishing past the Cavaliers goalie and tying the game in the 72nd minute. Door closes shut. Coffee, a flick on to Rhodes. A touch. Oh, what a goal this is. That is an incredible goal. Rhodes with the finish. A deserved second goal. You will not see many better equalizers than that at Klotner Stadium. Thanks for joining us on this month's Portside. We'll see you in November.